Hey everyone, welcome to this video where we are going to explore Notebook LM, looking at some of the new and exciting features and how you can leverage AI with your own data. Let's start by creating a new notebook. From here, we can choose what sources we want to bring into our notebook. So we can either upload sources from our local computer, bring sources in from Google Drive, on the internet via websites or YouTube videos, or simply paste text. I'm gonna start by bringing in a Google slide. In this example, we are creating a Chromebook training guide in Notebook LM. So I'm gonna select this slide deck with some Chromebook training resources ready-made. In addition to that, I'm also going to add a website link. So let's select that now. And I can paste multiple URLs into here and let's press insert. And one of the amazing things Notebook LM can do is also use video sources as well. So I'm gonna also add a link to a YouTube video here as well. And let's press insert again. Now I've added some sources. Notebook LM has given me an overview of what's been added. And from here, I can actually ask questions about this and Notebook LM will only use the data I've provided. So for instance, I've just asked Notebook LM, how do I install Chrome extensions? It then gives me an overview of how to do that, but also helpfully, it links to these resources as well and where I can find this data within the source material. Hovering over these even shows a snippet of that information from my slide deck I provided. After creating this notebook, I can also share this as well with other people within my organization. So if I press share, I can add other people and groups, and I can decide what access they get. I can either give full access to my notebook or provide a chat only interface. And in this example, providing a chat only interface to maybe other staff within my school, it could help us with our Chromebook rollout, giving staff somewhere to go where they can quickly get answers about using their new Chrome OS device. Okay, now let's look at some other example notebooks I've created earlier. In this example, I've created a school policy expert. I have uploaded some of our school policies into Notebook LM, giving me a space to quickly get answers about school policies. In the next example, we're going to look at another notebook where I have uploaded some student work. And in addition to that, I've uploaded the marking scheme I want to grade this work against. And then I'm going to ask Notebook LM to grade the student work against the mark scheme I've provided. And now, as you can see, Notebook LM has graded and compared the student work I've uploaded against the mark scheme. It's providing an overall grade for me, as well as breaking it down in accordance with my mark scheme I've provided. This is a really nice use case to assist teachers and help save a little bit of time. Okay, now let's look at another notebook. In this one, I have linked Notebook LM to the entire text of The Count of Monte Cristo from Project Gutenberg. Based on this text, I've asked Notebook LM to create a study guide for me. And you can see one I've created earlier here. And this quickly gives me a quiz I can share with students, answer key, essay format questions I can use, and a glossary of key terms. And one of my favorite features within Notebook LM is we can quickly create an audio overview of our text, not just in English, but also many other languages as well. We can access this on the right-hand side where we can play this back. We can download this to share with our students, or we can even use interactive mode. So let's take a look at this now and let's start playing back our audio overview. Welcome to another deep dive. We are ready to uh, unearth those fascinating insights from the sources you've shared. And this time it looks like we're taking a journey into the world of Alexandre Dumas's classic, The Count of Monte Cristo. Yeah. And one of the nice features here is we can also join in and ask questions from our podcast hosts. And specifically, we're focusing on the opening set. Oh, wait, someone wants to join. Hey, go for it. Hi there. So could you tell me more about what themes we're going to explore in The Count of Monte Cristo? Hi there. So glad you joined us. That's a great question. And absolutely, we can dive right into the themes. We totally can. And it's actually something we were planning to get to later in the show. Right. So you're ahead of us. But no worries. We're flexible. The primary theme, especially when you consider the overall arc of the novel, is undeniably revenge. Oh, absolutely. It's the engine of the entire Okay, let's pause it there. So you can quickly see just how powerful this could be, not just in the classroom, but also sharing this resource with your students. Well, that's it for this video on Notebook LM. I hope you found it useful and it's given you some inspiration about how you might use this within your own work and learning. 
Thanks for watching.